little brother. I hereby deputize you a Texas Ranger. Make no mistake, law and order has come to the West. Give me your hand! No! The vision told me a great warrior would help me on my quest. All I know is that a man killed my brother. I love playing the Lone Ranger. It's like every kid's dream. I embraced the character of John Reed, and he did it so beautifully. The first time I put on the mask, and I just remember putting it on, just thinking, like, this is going to be cool. If we ride together, we ride for justice. Justice is what I seek, Kimosabe. Johnny's such a wonderful actor, and he always creates interesting characters. Joel Harlow built the makeup, and he came over, took some pictures, took those photographs to Jerry Bruckheimer. Johnny showed it to Jerry, and Jerry was like, wow, this is great. You know, who is this? He said, it's me, man. It's me. He's brilliant. He's just second to none. He put these two guys together against some very vicious villains. He's coming for you. Let him go! I think the last person you want to find on a dark alley is Butch Cavendish. He's certainly like a deliciously evil guy. The film wouldn't be the same without some female characters in it. Rebecca Reed has grown up with the Lone Ranger. She gets kidnapped by baddies. And it's up to the Lone Ranger and Tonto to rescue her. Scared, aren't you? You should be. Helen Bonham Carter plays Red. You're looking for a man. What's with the mask? I have never actually been offered to play a peg-legged southern madam. Every man has his thing. You don't want to mess with Red. I think it's going to be a, a wild ride. If you want to see something that's as entertaining and fun as pirates, you have the Lone Ranger now.